Members of a state legislative committee today grilled Secretary of State Corey Stapleton over a mistake that his office made in printing this year's voter information pamphlet and the contract it took to fix the mistake. That $265,000 contract to print and mail a correction of voters in early October was awarded to a Billings printing firm owned by Republican political consultant Jake Eaton. Stapleton, a Republican, told the Administration and Veteran Affairs Committee that he's known Eaton for some time, but that he chose Eaton's company because it was the only one that could do the job in a timely manner. Now, the original voter information pamphlet mailed to 470,000 Montana voters did not properly identify the language and state law that would be changed by proposed initiatives 185 and 186. Stapleton says he learned of the error on October 9th and wanted to get the correct information to voters by the time they received their absentee ballots in the mail several days later. He told the committee other print shops couldn't get the job done until days later. Democrats on the committee said the corrected mailer fell short of what they would expect. There's no Secretary of State stamp on this. So when I received this, I went, is this a joke? Is this one of those phony mailers that they're trying to garner my support for something that's not accurate. I'm with you. I expect us to excel and, and put out perfect documents. And again, when it wasn't, we did our best to fix it. We satisfied the legal requirement in my mind because we got it there in time so that people got it as they got their ballots. And we also did the best thing for the interest of the voters. Republican members of the committee today did note that the cost of that mailer came out of Stapleton's budget which is funded by fees rather than general taxpayer dollars.